step into the cinematic world of 1,979 seconds the Jesus film, a portrayal of the life of Jesus Christ that has left an indelible mark on audiences worldwide. But did you know that this film, adapted from the Gospel of Luke, holds some lesser known facts that add intriguing layers to its narrative? Have you ever wondered about the behind the scenes anecdotes or hidden gems that might have escaped the spotlight? Perhaps there's a detail that has fascinated you over the years, shedding new light on the film's production or impact. As we delve into the tapestry of the Jesus film, we're eager to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Your stories and reflections are a testament to the enduring power of cinema to touch lives and create lasting impressions. Share your thoughts and memories in the comments below. The stage is yours, and we would love to hear what the Jesus film means to you. In the 1979 movie The Jesus Film, producer John Heyman addressed language concerns by dubbing over the voices of Israeli actors due to their high-pitched thick accents, with the exception of Brian Deacon. Dissatisfaction with accents prompted this decision. Interestingly, Peter Fry, who portrayed Pontius Pilate, made a significant sacrifice for the role. Having sported a beard for most of his life, Fry shaved it off to better embody his character. Additionally, key scenes like Jesus overturning money changers' tables, delivering parables in the temple, and facing Pilate were all filmed at the fairgrounds in Jerusalem, utilizing the same location with varying camera positions. This efficient approach added a practical touch to the film's production. In the making of the 1979 movie The Jesus Film, the production faced its share of challenges. One noteworthy incident involved Lee Cohen, who portrayed John the Baptist. On an Israeli talk show, Cohen expressed disappointment that a crucial scene depicting Herod's soldiers arresting him was cut from the final version. Interestingly, this omitted scene found its place in the New Media Bible instead. Another intriguing detail revolves around the scene where Peter, played by Nico Nidai, cuts off the ear of the high priest's servant. According to Paul Eshelman's book I Just Saw Jesus, this seemingly straightforward moment required 33 takes to get it right. The intricate setup involved a string attached to the actor playing the high priest's servant, with a fake ear and red nail polish set to be revealed upon the successful cut. Despite 32 failed attempts, the 33rd take finally captured the intended effect. Hal Eshelman's book also sheds light on the challenges faced during filming, specifically with Yitzhak Neiman, who portrayed James. Eshelman describes Neiman as difficult to work with and uncooperative. Additionally, the book claims that Nico Nidai, who played Peter, became a born-again Christian during or after the production. However, Nidai has refuted this assertion, expressing disdain for his involvement in the Jesus film and disliking the dubbing of his voice in the American release. These behind-the-scenes insights offer a glimpse into the complexities and intricacies faced by the cast and crew during the creation of the Jesus film. Each anecdote adds layers to the production's narrative, showcasing the challenges and triumphs in bringing this iconic portrayal to life on the screen. In a unique behind-the-scenes revelation, it's worth noting that the portrayal of the Gerasene demoniac healing scene in the 1979 movie The Jesus Film took an unconventional turn. To capture the frenzied behavior of the pigs, firecrackers were used to startle them. This departure from the Gospel of St. Luke, which recounts the pigs not just running away, but also drowning in a lake, adds an interesting layer to the film's production challenges. Notably, alongside the main production, a children's version of the film was concurrently filmed. This dual approach speaks to the filmmaker's commitment to reaching diverse audiences, offering a unique perspective on the production's scope and ambition. Intriguingly, actors Moscow Alkali and Yitzhak Neiman made appearances as extras in the crowd in the TV movie Mary and Joseph, a story of faith. Their voices in that film were also dubbed over, highlighting the interconnected nature of certain cast members' involvement in related projects. These lesser-known aspects of the 1979 movie The Jesus Film provide a glimpse into the meticulous decisions and adaptations made during its creation, showcasing the complexities that went into bringing this iconic portrayal to the screen. Let's delve into a lesser-known aspect of the 1979 movie The Jesus Film. Brian Deacon, who played the titular role, had an interesting connection within the cast. His wife at the time, actress Rula Lenska, portrayed Herodias, the wife of Herod. Surprisingly, Lenska's scene didn't make it to the final cut of the Jesus film, 
but found its place in the New Media Bible Book of Luke instead. Lenska, as revealed in her autobiography, expressed dissatisfaction with the film and its handling of her role. This behind-the-scenes detail sheds light on the intricate decisions made during the production and the subsequent divergences between the Jesus film and the New Media Bible version. During the filming of the Jesus film in 1979, an unexpected interruption occurred that added a touch of modernity to the ancient setting. In a scene where Jesus addresses the crowd about the poor widow's contribution, Paul Eshelman, involved in the production, halted filming. The reason, an extra in the crowd had mistakenly worn lime green Nike tennis shoes instead of sandals. It's a quirky behind the scenes moment that briefly shifted the focus from biblical storytelling to a contemporary wardrobe mishap. These unexpected incidents highlight the meticulous efforts required in creating a faithful portrayal of a historical narrative. Stay tuned for more insights into the intriguing details surrounding the Jesus film from 1979. In a surprising move to capitalize on the success of the Israeli film Lemon Popsicle, director Peter Sykes suggested casting Ifdach Katzer, a popular figure from the movie, in the 1979 film The Jesus Film. Katzer played the uncredited role of the epileptic boy. Despite this strategic decision, the Jesus film failed to gain traction in Israel. The presence of the lemon popsicle heartthrob didn't translate into success for the portrayal of Jesus on screen. Interestingly, the film's depiction of the Gerasene demoniac healing scene took an unconventional turn. Although the theatrical release did not show the pigs falling over the cliff, the New Media Bible version included this detail. Producer John Heyman made the choice to omit the scene from the theatrical release to avoid offending animal rights supporters. The decision showcased the careful consideration given to potential controversies surrounding the film. Another notable deviation from the Gospel of Luke was the filming of Jesus raising Lazarus from the dead, a scene not recorded in Luke's Gospel. Despite its absence from both the Jesus film and the New Media Bible version, the scene found its way into the Reader's Digest, Jesus, His Life, and Times VHS released in the 1990s. Brian Deacon, who portrayed Jesus, expressed curiosity about why Haman filmed this particular scene, considering its deviation from the source material. These behind-the-scenes insights shed light on the strategic decisions and challenges faced during the creation of the 1979 movie The Jesus Film. From casting decisions influenced by the success of other films to the careful navigation of potential controversies, each aspect adds depth to the narrative of bringing this iconic portrayal to the screen. Stay tuned for more intriguing details surrounding The Jesus Film from 1979. As we bid adieu, let's ponder the profound echoes left by the Jesus film. Its narrative, like an intricate tapestry, weaves the essence of faith and humanity into an indelible masterpiece. Perhaps it mirrored a moment of enlightenment or seeded a thought that resonated within you. This cinematic gem invites us to introspect, embracing the film's profound messages and timeless relevance. It's more than just a movie, it's an experience, a reflection of personal beliefs, spiritual insight, and storytelling that transcends time. Your connection to this film is a mosaic of emotions, memories, and perceptions. What scene struck a chord within you? Which character became a beacon of inspiration? Share your thoughts, reminisce your cherished moments, and articulate the impact this film had on your life. In this exchange of perspectives, we unveil the diverse tapestry of interpretations and emotions evoked by this iconic film. Your reflections enrich the legacy of the Jesus film, making its narrative a living, evolving entity. Thank you for embracing this opportunity to share your unique perspective and for being a part of this cinematic dialogue. Your insights add depth to our collective understanding and appreciation of this timeless creation. Thank you for your time and interest in engaging with the profound essence of the Jesus film.